Uh, Katie, what is your awesome <laughs> thing of the week? <laughs> is it really awesome? I don't know if you were awesome because you like moaned when you read it. <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, uh boy. Uh, Baby Shark is getting a full length movie. <laughs> This is hilarious. Okay. Oh, it's so funny. It's so terrible. Um, so Baby Shark video is uh, over what I said, 10 billion views. Is it's, it the most viewed thing on YouTube? Correct. It is the most. Because kids viewed. are just watching it on <laughs> loop, right? On repeat. Yeah. And parents are just letting them and losing their minds slowly. Uh, but there's a Baby Shark movie, full length, set for release in 2023. No, um, no. Paramount and us. <laughs> they were the jerks the, bringing uh, us to life. Ju- <laughs> <laughs> From the jerks that brought you jackass. <laughs> Baby Shark. Yes. You do, 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 do. <laughs> you know, 911 in South Park. <laughs> Comes the Baby Shark movie. It'd be great if it was in the style of South Park, though, and it was just kind of like a, like, it's like a get back for the parents. <laughs> <laughs> so so you're gonna see this is this no. this is coming to paramount plus or something isn't it no so it's, it's going to the movie theater oh my god no like so there there was an what? hour-long <laughs> baby shark the chip the chip and dale movie isn't coming to the theater <laughs> so this they so they this, the first like foray into this was an hour-long um baby shark space adventure that was a there was a limited theatrical run and it was primarily on Netflix, um, at least in the US. But the upcoming film appears to be more traditional, full blow theatrical release, which is impressive jump for the two minute sixteen second YouTube video. No details right now. Uh it's set to be co produced by Nickelodeon Animation and the Pink Fong uh company. <laughs> the wait, 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 the oh, pink what? Fong. That's the that's Fong, not Thong. Fong, okay, I thought I heard. I'm like, Ping well, that, that went in a different direction than I expected. Oh, yes. So, <laughs> okay, okay, so yes. you'll be uh, you'll be in line for this one, huh? Oh, yeah, no, no I, no. I I don't have to torture myself. Everybody else, I, the, you're not going to take the knees or something. No, no, <laughs> I have my limits. No. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. All I right. mean, she would have. I mean, if she really, really asked me, you know, I'd give in. But Baby Shark I'm now up offer. for an Oscar. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. You're on awesome thing of the week. Welcome. <laughs> um. Well, you know what is awesome? Our good friends down at Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza in the Beach View, Carnegie, the East End, and the North Hills, New York City style yins are made. And uh, after <laughs> experiencing Chicago pizza. I don't know if you saw my video because I ordered one. Was that Chicago. that dense one? It yeah. looked like yeah. But it, it, was but it looked like the, the cheese was just like grated. It was like the you would heavy. get out of a Parmesan. Listen, Chicago. First, of, first of all, every time I post something with a Chicago pizza, somebody says it's not a pizza. That's a casserole. Yes. Also, um, they make it backwards. And uh, and it is the heaviest thing. So it was so nice to get back to Pittsburgh and get a real pizza from Slice on Broadway. <laughs> it's one thing for the experience, but also, especially since I have been in New York City for several years, it's nice to get a nice New York City slice here in the Great Berg. Um, so go check out our friends SliceOnBroadway.com for more information and ordering online. Also on Grubhub and DoorDash, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> They're on those things. They're all, all over the place. Get them, even if you're not in there. Standard delivery method. Katie has been waiting for a week for this moment. I have. She has been waiting a week Very for this moment. The floor is yours. <laughs> the box is yours. <laughs> All right. So I ordered. I was on Twitter um, one night and I happened to. Hold, hold, first of all, take that laptop off your lap because I'm really f- I'm really concerned you're going to like shove it off with excitement as you open this box because <laughs> this has been building for a week. Yes. So yes, yes. so what do you got here? I have a Feastables Mr. Beast bar box. Uh, I happened to see a pop up on Twitter one night um, that Mr. Beast was moving into the world of chocolate. I believe it's IBS. He, I, I believe he has IBS. And um, so with that, you can't have a lot of artificial ingredients because it aggravates the system. So he has decided to create his own Feastable line, which is you know, to be snacky food right now, it's chocolate. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but they're expanding out. Uh, but I wanted a box of this chocolate and it's, 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 I think it's like four ingredients and that's it. So it's wow. really, really, yeah. That's, it's, it's, ex- it's exciting for candy of any sort. Yes. So, so you're getting like real chocolate with mm-hmm, this. Mm-hmm. And so I've like, I ordered a box because you can get a variety box and I have not opened it yet. So let's hence the paper that'll go. 
And you said there's more than just the chocolate. There's also kind of a contest going with this. Yeah. So in, here's. In, so there's the box. So you haven't even, you haven't laid eyes on this yet. No, I haven't. Are you gonna get the golden ticket? Yes. So inside, so there's it's a, I, I went for the variety pack. It's 18 mm-hmm. um, different kinds. There's original chocolate, quinoa crunch chocolate, and almond chocolate with almond chunks. Um, <laughs> literally have not opened this mm-hmm. as I pull like a little tab. She's pulling the tab now. So in you know inside, well, this is so it is really pretty. Like I am appreciating all of the colors and the packaging mm-hmm. with all. Well, of this is this. one of those artisanal uh, uh, setups, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So it's it's five. Well, I'm sorry, five ingredients. And on the back, you can, I think it's on the back. I've not, like I said, I've not explored this yet, but there is, should be, I'm pe- trying to peel it off. I'm not doing a very good job of it, but you scan, there's a QR code and you scan these candy bars and you can win. Um, there's like a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we're talking Beats by Dre headphones. I had to pull up the whole list uh, because there was so many things. Uh, sea Dew and um, a Tesla. Uh, there's also, so the main big prize is, oh, there's the code. There's a little code on the back of it. Ta-da. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't, don't show it. <laughs> yes. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Tiny is a code, tiny code. Oh yeah. You wouldn't be able to see it. But, um, I'm going to try this quinoa crunch chocolate, by the way. Um, so you put this code in and you either are an instant winner or you enter a drawing and the top prize is 10 folks will be flown to wherever to compete for the factory that makes this chocolate. Oh, so you have a chance to own this candy factory that makes this chocolate. Or if, by the way, you're like, eh, I don't want it. I can't be bothered. I won this factory, but I, I can't be bothered. Um, Mr. Beast will pay you $500,000 for your new factory. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, uh, I'm very excited. I've been waiting to try this chocolate. And, uh, but yeah, you can win Mr. Beast merch, $10,000 cash. Um, there's an artesian build custom gaming PC with it's like a seat. Like it's a full on arcade experience. Mm. <laughs> So I will, while we're doing the rest of the show, I will try to put this number in and see if I'm a winner <laughs> and try this chocolate because I'm very excited. I'm, I'm like afraid of what you would need to do in order to win because like I've been watching oh. some of their <laughs> videos and there's like the, the uh, hide and seek in a stadium. There's the, <laughs> you know, running, you know, uh, 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 running from an FBI agent, uh, running from, you know, uh, uh, hand on the car for, for a week. <laughs> I'm not a wee. Stay in the circle, and the circle sh- 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 shrinks for a million dollars. You know things like that. So, um, oh, there's the first taste. Wait, wait, where's she? There she is. Oh, it's good. Yeah, this is the quinoa one. I was kind of curious to see what it is, but there's little tiny quinoa pieces in it. Oh, oh, it's good chocolate. This is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and you, the rest of the show and you have a full box of it. I know. So. An 18 variety. Oh, yeah. Four and five ingredients. So depending on the bar, there's either four or five ingredients. And that's a little bit of everything you said, right? Mm-hmm. So, so there you go. Feastables. And then Feastables does a lot of other candy too, right? Or, or It just... sounds like it's going to expand as they go along to more snacky foods. Fe- oh, so Feastables is the company... Okay, so this is their first thing for Feastables? Yep. Okay, got uh-huh. you. 30 bars, free t-shirt... Eighty-eight dollars. Mm-hmm. Wow! So save thirty-six dollars. Okay, there you go. Yep. So all right. So so tasty. So the quinoa is good. Quinoa is not bad. Also, quinoa mm-hmm. doesn't have a lot of taste to it. Mm-mm. So, but it's, it's supposed just to be like really a crunch bar, like a Nestle crunch yeah. bar. Yeah. Mm, that's oh, all. It is. There you good. go. There you go. So the Mr. Beast bars. Let us know if you win. I will. You'll be like, <laughs> I got a sea doo. Let's go down to the mon. <laughs> That'd be a little tough. It's a little chilly for that. Yeah, a little mm-hmm. chilly. I don't think it's frozen, right? So it's gonna be sixty this week. What the heck? I don't understand the weather uh, anymore. No. It was ten this morning. I don't understand. No, the, no. The world. It's it's wild. It's absolutely wild.